approach to the markets is uh, absolutely global nowadays. I think that in 2012, 2011, we were talking to clients and they were telling us, well, look, I really like Spain, but I cannot say the word Spain in my investment committee, right? Was it that the situation was that bad? Was it a matter of sentiment? Was it a, a matter that uh, Spain, uh, Greece, Italy, Portugal were going to be kicked out of, of Europe? I think that everything, all of those uh, aspects uh, had a great influence in that approach. I think that market, although we still need to improve a number of things, market has calmed down. And, and this year, I, right, maybe you have a different view, it tends to be a bit more stable. There's still many things going through, but it's not <coughs> like a crazy, crazy market of really overheated. I don't think that we're in a situation. And we still, and well, we are all from right back to what we feel in, in clients and in the population is that we're still a bit sore of what has happened. So tending to a new bubble or tending to a situation where there's a lack of liquidity for a market of the size of Spain, I think that that's a remote situation. I think that when we came to 2011, 2012, it was after you know, really a, a crazy, crazy cycle. And I think that we are all, and, and you see it in the approach of clients, in the approach of banks, in the approach of, of customers how they approach their investments and how they approach their, their, their business. It's not so crazy. So I don't think that we should come to that situation, despite I fully agree with you that there are things many, that there are still many things to improve and, and st stabilize in terms of <coughs> macroeconomics, unemployment. But uh, globally, I don't see Spain very different from uh, other economies in Europe. I think uh, uh, knowing what's going to be happening in five years' time is pure crystal ball uh, future, you know. But uh, but at the end of the day, what we've seen uh, in the in the past is that uh, the, you're right that the investment market is ahead of fundamentals in the in the economy. Uh, but lately, we've seen and and let me give you a couple of, of data is that, for example, on the the last uh, CBO report uh, where where they uh, talk about their uh, retail portfolio is, is everything that they manage in, in, in Spain. The, the, the turnovers have grown 4.8% and the footfall have grown 3.3% in just in the first quarter. And that's coming from another growth in the, in the very last uh, quarter of 2014 as well. Uh, if I talk about only the Pradera assets, and, 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 and please note that the Pradera assets are more value-added secondary type of uh, assets, which were the ones which were not <coughs> catching up in the, in the last quarter of 2014 years, uh, but in this first quarter, uh, or yeah, on, on year to date type of figures, we have grown 6% on, on, on like for like turnovers, and, uh, and um, we've gone down to an average effort rates of 10.5, uh, 10.4%, uh, which means that uh, those fundamentals that we had to do the homework on uh, are, are really catching up. No, and um, as I said, I mean, uh, still investment ahead of fundamentals, but uh, you have to understand that, that that cloud of liquidity on top of Spain is because there's no other alternative for investors to get that type of returns that they are looking for, especially Vanessa explaining to us that 10-year uh, bond yields are lowest and even you have to pay for uh, to, to invest in, in fixed rent.